Samsung promised ECG and blood pressure update when the Galaxy Watch 3 was announced, but it's still not officially available at the day I am filming this video here in Canada. So today I'll show you guys how to install ECG and blood pressure app on your Galaxy Watch 3 or the Galaxy Watch Active 2 straight from your phone and at the end I'll compare the ECG readings from this Galaxy Watch 3 to my Apple Watch Series 6 and the Fitbit Sense. As you are watching which tube and if it's your first time, thank you so much for clicking. Here's where I review smartwatches, smartphones, headphones, etc. If you're into all that kind of stuff, consider subscribing. Now a quick disclaimer, this method will not work when your watch is paired with an iPhone. Please try this method at your sole discretion. I'm not the owner or developer of any of these APKs. I'm just showing you guys how I got it done on my Galaxy Watch 3. For this video purpose, my watch is paired with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. My Galaxy Watch 3, as you can see, is running on Tizen 5.5.0.2. So make sure your watch is running this or higher. If you have tried this on your watch when it's paired with other smartphones other than Samsung, please comment down below so it can help out others. Now to start with, head down to the video description and download these two files from the first link. Once downloaded, start installing the file named Samsung Health Monitor Mod5.apk. You'll get a pop-up that your phone is not allowed to install unknown app. So head on to the settings and turn on allow installation from unknown sources and go ahead and hit install. Once installed, go ahead and open the app and click continue without a watch. Agree with all the terms and conditions, allow all the needed options and create your profile. Upon completion, the Samsung Health Monitor will start with no compatible watch found notice. So step number two, go on to your file manager, in my case I'm using the Explore, and go ahead and install the other file named apk for tpk installer temp.apk. Again you will get a pop-up of unknown source, go ahead and install it anyways. Once installed, just go ahead and click done. So that is it, after a few seconds, you should see the Samsung Health Monitor app installed on your Galaxy Watch 3's menu. After that, when you go on the mobile Samsung Health Monitor app, instead of the previous message no compatible watch found, you will now be able to see blood pressure and ECG options. When you click on get started under ECG, you will get a brief info about how the ECG works. Go ahead and click next. Now you will get a brief explanation of what each results means. Go ahead and click next after reading. Few disclaimers which not just Samsung, every smartwatch manufacturer will make you read that. After that, select which wrist you will place the watch on. And that is it, you're all set. Now under blood pressure on the mobile app, you get an option to calibrate your watch. Where you will need a valid blood pressure monitor with which you will take three readings simultaneously with your watch. So let me briefly walk you through that process. You will get few cautions like do not tamper with your medication dosage, avoid things that can elevate your blood pressure and do not use if you are pregnant or if you have any of the listed medical condition. After that you will get a prompt on your watch to allow health monitor app to access the sensors and make sure your watch is snug on your wrist slightly above the wrist crease. Next prompt will be to place the actual blood pressure monitor on your other arm. Once done, when you hit next, your watch will automatically start measuring alongside the actual blood pressure monitor in 5 seconds. Just sit back and relax, do not move and try not to talk and in about 20 seconds the watch will complete the reading and the mobile app will ask to enter the reading from the actual blood pressure monitor. So just go ahead and feed the diastolic and systolic reading. Typically systolic is the top number and diastolic is the bottom number on most of the blood pressure monitors. So with the first measurement being done, now you have to take three more measurements identical to the first one. So let's skip to the last entry. 
after which you will get a prompt that the calibration has finished. You can even share the ECG report in a PDF format to your primary healthcare provider. Now let me briefly show you how to take an ECG reading. When you open the Samsung Health Monitor app on your watch, you'll get two options, blood pressure and ECG. Go ahead and select ECG which will prompt you to place your watch snug on your wrist and next your watch will ask you to rest your finger from the opposite arm lightly on the top button. You can use any finger but it's easier to use the index finger after which a 29 second ECG reading will commence. Stay still and you can also see your heart rate under the second counter. At the end hopefully you will see no signs of atrial fibrillation with your average heart rate below it. And just like the Apple Watch Series 6, this Galaxy Watch will also ask you to add any symptoms which I think all the other smartwatch manufacturers should incorporate. The symptom entry will also reflect on the history which you can then export as PDF. Lastly, going back under ECG, you will find information which will show the app's version as well as the release date. Okay, with all that said, let's compare the ECG reading from this Galaxy Watch 3 with my Fitbit Sense which also has ECG monitor. So both these graphs are normal, but you can see the reading from Fitbit is not that smooth. And I presume it's because Fitbit uses 250Hz sensor versus the Galaxy Watch 3 uses a 500Hz sensor, almost double. That's why the graph from Galaxy Watch 3 is smooth. Both these graphs were recorded at 25mm per second. Now just an FYI, Fitbit does not ask you to input any symptoms at the end of the reading. So out of both these watches, I will prefer the Galaxy Watch 3 over Fitbit Sense. Now let's compare the ECG reading from the Galaxy Watch 3 with my Apple Watch Series 6. Apple Watch Series 6 is my personal favorite for ECG monitor among all the other smartwatches reviewed on this channel. Again, both of these graphs are normal, but I find that the Apple Watch Series 6 graph is the smoothest among Fitbit and Samsung. And again, I suppose it's because of the 512Hz sensor on the Apple Watch versus the 500Hz sensor on the Galaxy Watch 3. Again, in FYI, both of these watches will ask you to input any symptoms at the end of the reading, which is really cool. So out of both of these, I will prefer the Apple Watch Series 6. Finally, let's compare the ECG reading from this Galaxy Watch 3 with this Pulsebit EX personal ECG EKG portable monitor for which I have done a full review linked up in the card section and at the end of this video be sure to check it out. Now this Pulsebit EX ECG monitor comes with attachable reusable electrodes for precise measurement and I personally find its reading super smooth. So let's see the graph and as you can see, I have used the attachable electrode placed on the underside of my wrist where I don't have all my manly hairs. The Pulsebit EX does not have option to input any symptoms at the end, but there is an option to enter any remarks at the top of the reading. The Pulsebit EX also does not show how many hertz sensor it has, but boy the graph is super smooth without any stutters. Certainly better than the Galaxy Watch 3 and I typically use the Pulsebit EX monitor to reference any ECG reading from my other smartwatches. So again I will prefer this Pulsebit EX over the Galaxy Watch 3. So there you have it, the comparison of the ECG on the Galaxy Watch 3 against other top of the line smartwatches and monitors. Let me know in the comments down below if you were able to use this workaround for ECG and blood pressure app on your Galaxy Watch and which ECG reading would you prefer among all the other smartwatches. Also make sure you subscribe which is free for you but in doing so you will not miss any upcoming videos. So I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did then please give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot. Also follow me on my other social media network for early preview to upcoming videos and giveaways. Links are in the description of all my videos. Thanks so much for watching and take care. I'll catch you guys in the next one.